Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blake and Sale Show with Mark. For over 10 years, dominating the podcast world. Now sit back, relax, and get ready to have some fun. Let's welcome your hosts, Blake, Sal, and Mark. Still here, still standing, still kicking in the fact I'm the best I've ever been. Who said so? I'm limited and we'll fall apart. I'm about to give them hell again. So say what you say, expect me to. I don't think about it. Don't think about it. I've worked like to do, and I'm not supposed to throw. They say the last you go sounds like keep dancing. I'm sitting on the show sounds like keep dancing. Feel like I'm doing more of where they take me. Something so sounds like keep dancing. Hello and welcome to the Blake Show with Mark episode for five oh seven. I am one of your hosts, Blake, and I'm not going to lie, I've had a really fucking shitty week, but I'm looking forward to this show tonight so that I can just let loose and have some fun. <laughs> Let's bring on my co-host, first of all, the biggest who I'm podcasting, the man who sent me a video of a really cute deer. Maybe we're him on the show. That was really, really cute. Um, Sal, how you doing? They're so cute. I want to take them home. Like, oh my god, that was so adorable! That was so freaking cute. <laughs> they literally, they literally looked like they're just born. I know, baby deers, baby deer, so cute. Um, we got our other co-host, the man who spent the last two days complaining about doing lawn work, even though we had other people in the house that got to help him. And the legend Mark said, "How you doing?" <laughs> Those other people, to their credit, can't cut the grass but are afraid of the trimmer because the trimmer has done things that... Sal, there's a 38-year-old man, and there's a, there's a soon-to-be 37-year-old man that tells you scared of a trimmer. Yep. Okay. That's not a joke. That's not even a joke. <laughs> the, trimmer, the trimmer has dug into house siding, garage siding, and things that are not grass. And whose fault is that? Not the trimmer. Oops. <laughs> I'm just tear relaying the information. All right. So what are we opening with? I haven't heard this. I haven't heard this for a long time. Holy I God. know. That's oh, what wow. I said, too. Um, so Vanessa Williams is back. Wow. <laughs> so she is. Um, and she's got a song called Legs Keep Dancing. Yeah. I, I honestly, why not? I had never heard of this until you hit it to me. I'm like, I'm going to hear it when we record. I'm not even going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it when we come on. <laughs> the first time I'm hearing it, right when we press play to start the show. <laughs> it's fun. It's it fun is. Also, we can say about about legs help spread the word oh boy i'm so glad the first segment has to do with giving dad shit so glad about that um <laughs> <laughs> by the way though quick a quick vanessa williams um save the best for life was actually my sister's graduation song uh -oh. ah. so yeah i have a little bit of a sentimental thing to Vanessa williams there on that one wonderful and also i loved her ugly betty so, yes. <laughs> love doing that show. So, uh, anyone on the YouTube side, and you're seeing a weird sun glare, I can't do much about this today. Um, we had a tornado warning earlier this evening. It was pouring, but now the sun's out clear. Like, it's been a weird evening here. <laughs> There's not a whole lot I can really do about the sun right now. So, on the YouTube side, sorry. <laughs> not much I can do about it. <laughs> Let's deal with it today. Most people watch. It looks like you're going to be abducted by an alien spaceship. Like, most people listen to us on the podcast that name that this doesn't really matter. But if you're watching, if you're like the five, one of the five people that watch us on YouTube, thank you, first of all. And um, <laughs> I got an email from YouTube that we passed 100, like, two, like we passed like 200 views on YouTube, which is very impressive because I never advertise it. <laughs> I never <laughs> advertise them over there. So that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> I asked CJ, I asked CJ, like, is this impressive for the fact I never promote it? He's like, yeah, in that case, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Like we're, we're on our way to being um, a, a, a partner. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I thought you were gonna say we're, we're on our way of getting beat up by Mike Tyson in the ring. Um, <laughs> only if you're going to all 
we don't we don't like to show dead people hanging from trees, so Fair I don't enough. know if that's going to happen. I, I do have something I want to say, but I'm going to move fast. Um, as always, go pick up Mandy's book. I know I am available right now. Amazon, Barnes Noble, and RTA Publishing in English and in Spanish. Fuck them kids. So I um, there's right. a thing, there's a thing on TikTok going around of some lady, stupid as fuck, <laughs> saying, "I can't wait to see Jake Paul kill Mike Tyson," and then there's a whole bunch of people our ages jumping on and like. Do you even know who Mike Tyson is? Do you even know who this person is? Excuse me while I double clutch my pearls. Excuse I know. I'll me. Be, the you're on a TikTok this last like week or so. Who <laughs> does not know who Mike Tyson is? Apparently, Dad's room is frozen, but we can hear him. So you the can, video is frozen, frozen. Yeah, but no, we can still hear you. We can hear yeah. you. If you want to reset your video, you can. But like, we can hear you. But um, well, okay. you're enjoying fun time. You're having fun today. It was on YouTube side. <laughs> but um, yeah. The yeah, that was going on on TikTok this past week, so that's fun. All right, well, first things first, we're going to follow up a couple a couple of things throughout the show. This is not going to be a normal show, people. Just so you know, we're not going doing heavy wrestling because I'm not going to lie, we have a lot going on in the next few weeks on that on that side of thing. Be a paper preview, be, be a guest coming on. I'm like, you know what? This week we're going to relax, maybe catch up on some things, wrap up some problems, wrap up some stuff that's from last week's show. I, I I did some thinking about things and I was really high the other night. And then I looked at my notes and they made sense. So I'm proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself for that. <laughs> but I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. We'll get to that. First things first. Last week, um, so we were joking about John becoming our AEW exclusive um, guy, right? We were joking about that last week. And Correct. well, I was started talking, I started talking about when um dad and dad and John were hosting the show without us when I was in the hospital. And um I I decided because I had I can, and I, I have the ability to do this because I don't delete anything, um, <laughs> to go back to that show and um, give Dad some shit and um, play the video from that show. Is he here still? Is he back or did he disappear? Dad, are you hearing us? I think he signed off. I'm not sure. Like he's so embarrassed he had a log off. I know, seriously. So I don't want to do this without him. Though. That's the problem. I don't want to do this without him. And you know what? Let's we'll stall a second. Well, he comes back. We'll come back to that. We'll talk about No No Deal. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about you're the, you're the ones that watch it. You're the ones. You're the ones that watch it. We're gonna talk about this. No No Deal Island. We haven't talked about it in a couple of weeks because we weren't caught up coming into the show. But this week we can actually talk about it because we're both caught up. Can I applaud them for a great fucking finale? <laughs> like holy hell. Um. Yeah. For those who don't know, uh, I think it was two episodes ago. Like it was the last episode, they had the cliffhanger, the big cliffhanger at the end. And you were asking me who I think the um the um banker was, and I said right. it's gonna be it's gonna be Howie. I, I just knew. I just had a gut feeling. And you're like, yeah. no, I'm like they've never showed a shadow the entire season on that boat. They never showed a shadow, so there's no reason he didn't have to be there. He never had to be there the entire season. He could right. show up in a helicopter in the finale and do things. By the way, I want to know how many days they were actually there. To do this show, were they only yeah. there for like thirteen days, like fourteen days? Like, how long were they there? I'd love to know that answer. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Zoom, Dad just texted me. Zoom just kicked me out. Okay, then bring yourself back. Wonderful. In. Bring yourself back in. So I texted you, and I was like, I had a gut feeling it's gonna be Howie. So then I'm watching the show, and they say, "Here comes the banker," and all of a sudden they dramatically pause, and I'm like, "It's and who's it gonna be?" And they zoom up, and it's Howie. I'm like, "Yeah." I was so happy I was right. So happy I was right. <laughs> um by the way, did did it feel like I, I said this to you last week too, off air. They did not plan for a second season. And it's so obvious they didn't plan for a second season. Right. They would have never told us who the banker was if they were planning for a second season. <laughs> I, yeah. I was thinking that too. Um obviously they are. I mean they're doing a casting call now. And then and but, NBC uh, officially announced it. And NBC officially announced it's coming back next year. So did you did you by chance get to like see like what their ratings look like? No, but I know a lot of people that watched it. Like I've talked to a lot of people that have watched it. There is one of those shows. Yeah. You, I, a lot of times, like like extended family got canceled, right? I heard nothing about that show outside of us watching it and listening to the Scrubs podcast. Right. Dr. Delphine is going to promote his own show. But this one, I was hearing about it everywhere. Right. So if you look at it from that perspective, that's pretty cool. You know, like it was so good though. I mean, I when, when I, they 
I remember when I texted you when the series started, and I'm like, this is way better than it deserves to be. This is so much better. Yeah, I remember, I think we talked about this before, when they made the original announcement, and I thought to myself, I'm like, how the hell are you going to pull that off? And boy, did they pull it off. I mean, it, it was phenomenal. I mean, I loved it. It was great. I mean, as it went on, it got, you know, more and more... That's it. Um, invested, and I was just like, like I even texted you during the, the the final the final game for the season finale. Oh my god! My <laughs> heart would have been beating out of my chest. Whoa! God, I, was, I, I just looked at the ratings. I looked at the ratings. Holy shit! These are really good ratings. They were really? two to three million a week. Live viewership Wait, with, with live with viewership. streaming. Live <gasps> viewership two to three wow. million a week. That's wow. incredible. How did they even streaming your replays? That is on the night wow. viewing. Damn. That's great. It got oh, it got almost it got 3.14 million viewers for the finale. Wow. That's wow. amazing. That's absolutely amazing for a game show reality show. Like, that's absolutely yeah. amazing. Well, they would be stupid not to do a second season. So yeah, I was absolutely that's amazing. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. Those numbers are great. Like like Smack yeah. gets like boosted. Smack the number one show on Friday nights at just over two million a week. Right. So like that says something. Like that's a lot right there. <laughs> like, wow, that's huge. I the first time I've seen those numbers. The first time I've seen them. So now that was that's really damn cool. But yeah, I actually I did not expect the excursions to be so entertaining. Yes. So like I don't know how do you pull excursions off and fucking game shows or anything like this? Like I didn't expect that. <laughs> that was awesome as hell. Like they did so many things right. Like so many things they yeah. messed up and they did it right. I yeah, mean, I agree. And that, and that last challenge. Oh my god, I was insane. <laughs> I mean, perfect. I mean, they couldn't have done a better final excursion because that was just like the well, it was really, it, it was really, yeah. And fuck Amy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, well the funny part about that. So you're, you're saying fuck Amy because of the whole shaking of the robes thing. Joe literally told yes. her to do that. That was the best part for me. Joe literally said, I it's nothing in the rules that say you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so biggest heel in podcasting agrees, but don't make it so obvious. At least <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the fact that she made it so obvious and was just standing there on the platform shaking that robe like out hoping- jackass. By the way, so yeah, I, I didn't back, like that. Dad, dad is back, and he just—he's on his phone. He's trying to get his computer, and he just dropped his phone. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I dropped my phone. Oh, that Oops. was funny. That was very funny. No, I, I, you know what's funny? I was had a thought this morning that I keep putting all these bloopers up on my personal um, Instagram page. I'm going to be making a blooper reel for like our for our big like end of the year show. <laughs> that's going to make it. Well, That—that's a half hour of my life I won't get back. Oh my God. That it, you've been on the air for 12 minutes. You've been on the air for 12 minutes. <laughs> I'm have power. What if you're doing <laughs> bloopers from the past also? Oh, true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I had a lot of them. <laughs> lot. And some of me, I got your shit. Some of me. <laughs> there are not just you guys. I have them of me too. <laughs> I always, so I actually have gotten shit for not giving myself enough shit, which is why I started like making fun of myself more <laughs> on clips. <laughs> I don't care. I did. Sometimes you guys are just funnier. That's all it is. Sometimes you guys are just funnier. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, fantastic season. Great finale. So, hopefully, next season, hopefully, they don't mess it up and just do this. Right, just do this show the way you did it here, and Dad's gone again. Just do the show the way. Oh you... no! Oh no! There he is. He's um. Oh. I think he's trying to get back on the computer. By the way, two nothing Carolina. Um. Um. So there he is. He's back. Cool. There you go. There he is. He's back on the computer. So that's the Odo Island. Which your book over is the first thing I wanted to do before Dad's computer froze. Since we, uh, that's a love sound. We did have a backup plan just in case something happened. We actually had a backup. Nicely done for us. <laughs> <laughs> you you always have a plan B. You can tell you've been doing this for a very long time. You can tell that sometimes, you know? <laughs> so anyway, so last week, we, um, we were talking about John getting named the AW official AW corresponding guy. And then we yes. were talking about the um, show that um, Dad and John did without us and how yep. much Dad right. was giving John shit. I mean, Dad, Dad was giving Sal shit, and Sal never heard it. Yeah. You see where oh, it's going. Do you see where this is going? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't see where this is going at all. I'm sorry. Press on share sound. There we go. And I'm going to share oh, my boy. screen. 
And I think you can look up my um at video editing software. Now have my I'm on my phone. That was free. Thank you for that. Um, yes. Hope this works. I have never I have not done a video in a long time. So hopefully this works. So we'll press play. And I put this together. And this goes from last week's show and it goes back to the, the stuff that dad did say. This is 100 percent real because this is a video straight from that show. Here we go. <laughs> we officially oh, announced John as our official AEW representative talking about yes. our on the show. I, I mean, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. Well, funny <laughs> part is that announcement was in the making after after the last pay-per-view. When Dad and Mark John did the show, did the show without us? Did the show mm-hmm. without us at the hospital and <laughs> we were in New York and like they did the show without us. And I was and that was gonna happen. But then when we were making the change anyway, I'm like, well, I might as well make the announcement here too. I want to make another announcement. Since we're announcing shit, might as well make another announcement. <laughs> you notice when we did that show, we got higher ratings. You don't even know the numbers. You don't see the numbers. I do. Um <laughs> They're not public just, consumption. I'm just telling you what I'm being told by the people. Now, if you want to go in, now, by the way, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this. Are you going to bring this up? I, I was not going to bring this up in the air. I'll bring this shit up. You want to hear somebody taking shots at a co host? Go over the first 10 minutes of that show with him and John, where he's like, Blake's in the hospital. I hope he's doing better. Fuck cancer. My regular co host, Blake, is in hospital recovering from his colon cancer surgery that went really well. Uh, everyone that gave him, sent him prayers and well wishes. We thank you all from the bottom of our heart. Sal, he's not here. Fuck Sal, he's not here. What the <laughs> hell? The biggest heel is not here. And as far as Sal goes, the biggest heel in podcasting, he's off on some personal business. Remember, Sal, because of all these wonderful mistakes, we're blaming this show on you, okay? If it doesn't go right, it's your fault, all right? And by the way, just to let you know, Sting likes me better. <gasps> so, he called there it that go. way. Although uh, I, I'll, I should deny everyone else their wine. I'll, I'm replacing Sal as the heel. So, you're not allowed <laughs> any. It's mine. Okay. <laughs> Actually, we should have Sal buy us wine. Yeah, but that would be like a face turn. <laughs> yeah, but you know the wine he would give us mm. would not be good wine. It'd be mm. like two buck Chuck. Oh, that you yeah. see a Trader Joe's. We've we've got yeah. plenty of that here. <laughs> well, I, I I think he's got a, a whole closet full of two buck Chuck. Oh, <laughs> nothing worse. It's either that or he it's right next to his GameStop stock. I don't know which one. <laughs> Listen, it's in my contract. When Blake has off, I have off too. Yes. So, there you go, Sal. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, Sal, and fuck there cancer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, comment. <laughs> okay. I remember that. Okay. I, remember I just that. have a que- I have a question to ask the biggest to you podcasting. Proceed. Okay. Hey, I'll see you guys. Do you still have a closet of two buck check? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not actually. Not the question I coming. Not the, these are all game stock stock stock. That's the other question I got there. <laughs> no, I was I was very tardy. Okay. I was very tardy to that party, and it was way too late by the time I. <laughs> oh, I, I I thought you got in on the ground floor. My apology. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that was fun. I had to do that. That was just too fun. Especially in the future. I have the power to do it. I have the power to bring shit back if I ever want to in the future. Especially even South Off. Because South Off next week. So who knows what's going to happen you're not here. Um, <laughs> you're going to help us all. <laughs> um, anyway, let's move on. So Sal sent me a tech message randomly the other day. <laughs> and I had to bring it up because it had to do with our former boss, David. <laughs> um, David, apparently... Is that was in a um, Japanese magazine this past week? Yes. Here's the photo. Here's the photo. <laughs> um, they're coming up on the screen. There you go. There's the photo. <laughs> and then Sal is literally sitting there translating it to me. <laughs> 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 and it still made no sense. <laughs> using I translate. Oh my god. But there is John, John right there. there is David right there. Right there. Uh, this is a legitimate job. I don't know magazine. I gotta ask you what magazine is this. This is pretty cool. I'm not gonna bullshit you. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, no, it is. It is. 
But no, we were trying to translate it. I just want to share that because it's pretty funny to us. Uh, I, we know someone that was in a Japanese magazine now. <laughs> Part of our show for the longest time. <laughs> uh -oh. right. Is this dad again? No, I, he's, he's a black screen. He hears us. We can hear him. So, and It's going to kick me off again. Apparently, when we go nights, um, we go nights, dad has video problems. I don't know why. We were in daytime for years, and we never had video problems with him. We go nights, two shows in a row, we had video problems. Again. <laughs> go figure. What do you say? Yes, okay. indeed. Or indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go more. Maybe it's maybe it's me getting my revenge. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go mobile. Hang on. Now let's get into the crazy world of professional wrestling. All right, we're not gonna spend a lot of time in the wrestling world today, but we do have a few things I want to get to. So I I listen to you on Chris Lee's podcast um every week. Good interviews, really good interviews actually on that show every week. Um. But Teddy Long was on the show this week. And um, oh. Teddy Long, it was a great interview. It was actually the first interview he's ever done on the podcast. It's actually one of the first interviews he's ever done. It was actually really cool. Like, not nice. on his own podcast. He has his own podcast. But I interviewed right. by somebody else. Oh, okay. He doesn't get interviewed often. To do an interview where he's not hosting is a big deal. It's a very, very big deal. Like, you learn right. little things. Like, the dance he did, the, his dance was actually, um, it, it, he did it as a dedication to his two-year-old um, two grandson. And then it became a thing. <laughs> <laughs> which i love i'm not gonna lie i love that <laughs> yeah so that's adorable but like Teddy, so, so chris asked him so how did you get in the wrestling were you a wrestling fan and he says no i was not a wrestling fan Teddy long though might be wow. the only person I, I ever ever existed that can get away with the following sentence when asked how did you get in the wrestling? and i'm gonna have to mute dad's computer well what the hell's going on here I think I have to put the other one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. It was, it was an echo. It was a really bad echo. I had to fix that. All right. So, there you go. Teddy Long is the only one I know that can get away with this. He literally was asked, How did you get in wrestling? And his sentence was, So, I was working on Soul Train as the music director with James Brown. <laughs> you know. And then The Undertaker came out. It was the most casual way of putting it. Oh, he's the only one that can get away with that. <laughs> what the hell? So, did, did after Soul Train, did he get into like the referee school for WCW or what? Pretty much, he was never trained. He was never trained. Wait a minute. Uh, he just became he a referee? He became friends with somebody in WCW. They joined the ring crew. Okay. And he a referee. So they made him a referee and he would learn on the fly. Well, I mean, it's not that hard to count to three. Well, it's hard to. Like, there's a lot more stuff going on than counting to three, and you know that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if Dave can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Just get, give me a striped shirt, and I'll do it. Let's see who Cell hated today. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just add one to the list. But he went and said, "Um, he he went literally to and then then he went to obviously we had the murder." Of WCW, WWE, and then he was refereeing, and then he just thought, he's like, we're, we're, we don't want you to be a referee anymore, whatever, he went home. He was still under contract. Apparently, JBL, they're looking for a manager, and JBL, I think it was for Rodney Mack or something, and JBL went and said, why don't you just call Teddy? He's fantastic at this. He just never had a real opportunity. JBL is what got him to be a manager. Mm. And then also, apparently, no one told him he was going to be general manager until like five minutes before we found out. <laughs> oh, smack down. Like something down, like this is the craziest story I've heard in years. Like this is one of the craziest. Yeah. So definitely a must listen to Chris and, and the rest is history. It really is. Like he goes into a whole detail on how the um um one on one with the Undertaker thing was improv and then they just put it kept putting it into the script. <laughs> 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 like stuff like that. Like it's really fun interview. Um and by the way, Teddy and Teddy Long is the best part of uh, Teddy Long is Teddy Long turned up to a to an eleven. He, that's not a character. That's just Teddy Long. Like he just threw play out there like a normal low conversation during the interview. Like, <laughs> I mean, I have to, I have to say, and I gotta give props to Teddy. Is he's got good mic skills, and it's great. And when he cuts a promo, man, it's like on target. Yeah, and the best part is he's not even like acting. He's just being Teddy Long. <laughs> that was the best part for me. So, I mean, like uh, Teddy Long on steroids. Pretty much. Like I said, he's the best character turned up to 11. We always hear that. We always hear it. 
So last week, last week, we were on his. We were all on his last week, and, uh, and that was, like, we were all on his last week. It was a fun <laughs> show, but we were really on his last week. I was in back to like, what the fuck are we on last week? Like, we were so tired, and we were all ahead. Like, it was a really crazy show last week. If you missed it, go back. It was a fun one. But um, so we ended the show talking about the Samoan dynasty. <laughs> yeah, and and, and, the, and the, the throughout, family tree. And that throughout that next week we're going to discover the, the, the discover the solve the solve the Samoan mystery. Our show drops on Saturday morning now, and we would draw a normal day. And I'm sitting there, we, we pop our gummies right before collision, and I'm only half attention to collision because well, <laughs> collision, and um, I'm high as fuck. And then I'm like, I start thinking, man, I should start looking at this up. <laughs> I start looking at this up. <laughs> as, you, as you do. He's already on a Saturday night. This is what I'm doing hot. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. The first thing first, though, I did find what Dell asked for last week. I found the bloodline tree from the press conference. Oh, here we go. The legit there. one. I found the official tree that The Rock put up. Here's the okay. problem. Here's the problem. Haku isn't even on here. Haku <laughs> not even on here. What the fuck? So, Are I, they feuding? So, here's what happened. I figured it out. I did a little research and I figured this out. You know how we always joke about my family? How I have a thousand aunts and uncles, but 90% of them are actually related to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's Haku. <laughs> He's not technically related. <laughs> He's family's friend uncle. <laughs> yeah, because I I've heard Rock every time he talks about him is Uncle Haku. Yeah, he's not actually an uncle though. He's family friend uncle. So okay. he's he's friend he's family through friendship. Got it. So he's not actually related. So and also the um the mm. I also found out that the um Tong, Tongalo and Tomatonga are adopted anyway. No one is. No, they both are. I looked it up. They both are adopted, according to what oh, I Oh, really? Both really? Okay. All right. <laughs> this is what I find out when I'm high. This is what I found. So we got this song. This <laughs> that we were talking I'm about. feeling a little high right now. Holy shit. That is all the news I found. That's big stuff. Got a follow-up to our whole conversation last week. <laughs> so Haku was actually so, not needed, and the two boys were adopted anyway. So <laughs> is, that, is that whole true for Hikaleo, too? I mean, he is. I think he, I believe I read he is their brother. <laughs> he is the um, GOD's brother. So they're all like, it's a weird family thing. It's weird. Because I'm trying to figure out how Hikaleo is so tall and yet. Obviously, cool. different dads. Obviously, different dads. Ooh. Obviously. Like, <laughs> so that's that. That solved that problem. Well, so breaking news right before, like literally an hour and a half before we come in. I didn't send this to you guys. I knew I want to talk about it on the show. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to on the show. So AEW, in their all infinite wisdom, announced they're doing a summer series on the path to All In. What I heard is they're like cold or promote. The, they're gonna, they're putting a name on the mat on the shows that lead to All In, like WWE does. That's a great idea, right? It's a great idea. WWE does all the time again. The Royal WrestleMania house shows. We always do that. The great. Right. That's not what they're doing. <laughs> Wait, okay. Oh, 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 slow down. They're not doing it. That's not what they're doing. The okay. Pack All In Summer Series is what is. If, if you look at your run sheet right now, there is a graphic the AEW put up. They're rerunning the Esports Stadium in Arlington for a summer series, and it's July twentieth collision, July twenty sixth death before dishonor, Ring of Honor, July twenty seventh collision. They're pre-taping August 1st that, that week's collision, but I, I believe it was up against SummerSlam, which is pretty funny. Um, August 10th collision and the August 17th collision will all be in Arlington. What the hell? <laughs> okay. That was announced today. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, what the fuck are they doing? Who? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was this and, and damn be whatever. Who the fuck is running the whole damn flipping show? <laughs> I was, is, is it Chad Con now because Tony's hurt? Chad I was is in his mustache? I mean, I assume they got a really good, like, you know, rental deal, renting out the place for a month. But, but like, like, I, I always joke. Six shows? 
and it's all collision and like a random ROH pay per view. It's not even dynamite. Like if we're here to do our fucking thing, it will include dynamite, right? And dynamite and rampage, right? I like, <laughs> correct, right. So I do love the one, the one random it. Thursday collision. I think well, they were pre taping a bunch of stuff during. They did a lot of that during like in the last Canada, Canada tour, where they would right. do fight uh-huh. on Wednesday and then collision on Thursday in the same building to save obviously save production value. Uh-huh. But I understand that. I wonder right. if there's something going on in Texas that weekend because that's right. I, I, I think WWE because WWE is going to be in Detroit for SummerSlam, but like that SummerSlam weekend. So I'm I, I, it's weird they're even doing they're even doing a collision that week because it is SummerSlam weekend, but that's. That was announced today. And I literally reading my reaction as the first time. I literally saw this like literally a couple hours before we came on the air. I mean, <laughs> do we know if there's another wrestling promotion that's doing something in Texas like uh TNA? Or maybe or someone's just doing or maybe I don't I don't even know what this building is. Like what is the esports center? Like what actually runs here? Like what actually normally runs here? Because maybe they maybe whoever runs here is actually doing a show that day. It almost sounds like a high school auditorium. Like I've never even heard of this place. Until today, and you would think we've been doing, we've been watching wrestling for so many years, we would know. Okay, so apparently it's a, it, 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 a um, it only holds 2,500 people. What? Oof. Um, oh, my Lord. I mean, open talk, to- talk about downsizing, but that's ridiculous. I mean, if we do it right, we'll have a, if they do it right, we'll have a nice loud crowd at least. You know what I mean? Like, at least we'll have a nice loud crowd, but like, sheesh. Oh, uh, my, my thing, if, if you if you got a venue that only holds twenty five hundred people, you better have some damn good cards there. Otherwise, you're not gonna. If, if you have one bad night, I guarantee you, word of mouth, you're gonna have less people coming for your next show. That's called the Canadian tour last summer. And they have go tour last summer where they had one really weird show, and then the rest of the Canadian yeah. shows were sunk. Yeah. Wow. Like it's the same logic. It really is the same fucking logic. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. And their, and their TV deal isn't even signed yet. So I'm yep. very confused by all of this right now. I'm very well, confused. I'll, I'll say it. And I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Tony Khan has got to stop wearing so many hats and basically delegate and trust people to do the things that he should not be doing. I.e. booking, i.e. matchmaking, i.e. you know, send a scout for for talent. It was funny. It's out there. funny with him, uh, and I think it was Wade Keller that said it perfectly. Oh, no, it was Jason Powell. Jason Powell said it perfectly. He's a fantastic matchmaker, but a terrible booker. There you go. Like he can set up great matches. Like we have some great matches set up for Double or Nothing, but he's a terrible yeah. booker. <laughs> he's terrible at the storyline part of it. Like, he's terrible at that part. <laughs> Tony has some good ideas, but someone else has got to, you know, try to help him expand on the ideas where they're going to be relevant and not irrelevant. Yeah. And anyway, we'll get more into Double or Nothing next week. Um, but yeah, that was something that broke right before. I wasn't even going to bring up AW, but then they broke the story. I'm like, oh, we have to talk about them for a minute. Like, we have to. <laughs> that, that's because Tony is so much of a fanboy. I don't think he realizes when it's time to be boss and when it's time to be fanboy. You know what's funny? That's true, fucking true. That's so true. Like, I can't even argue with you on that point. Because that's so true. I mean, mm-hmm. especially when it comes... For a long time now. It's especially when it comes to talent contracts and renegotiation. you got to look at yourself. You're the boss and not a fanboy. I mean, if you really want this talent and the talent's that good... You know, maybe you should look at it realistically and see what the value is and not just say, please, please, can you please sign with me? Because I'd love to have you in my organization. Oh, please, I'll still be ever enamored. Come on. Let's get a pair of balls on Tony and do what he needs to do. I just stayed silent, so I had an endpoint for that clip for for later. <laughs> I just stayed okay. silent for that moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a clip for tomorrow. That's gonna be a clip. Um, oh boy! Another clip for the week. That's gonna get. That's gonna let up our TikTok well, page later. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, that's gonna me. generate a nasty comment. That's definitely gonna let oh, up. Oh boy! I, I, I'm gonna be hearing from Tony's attorneys. It's gonna be fun. There's a joke going around on Torch Audio right now that um, there's a guy called um, Zach from Texas 
who is like a ridiculous over the top AEW fanboy, like more than John, <laughs> like more than John. Okay. He's no fault in anything they're doing. So now they're joking that that's actually TK pseudonym on short audio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, it's become a running joke lately. It's just started in the last couple of weeks. Because <laughs> it's like we always mess with John when they go on they, they go on their whole tangent about like how much he loves AEW, but at least he critiques them. At least they critique him. This guy literally has no filter on being anything negative. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, but to me, citing, signing Mercedes Monet. Okay, I have a problem me, with signing her. It's just, it's, they're not doing anything with her right now. <laughs> well, you know, they, they hyped her, and I'm sorry, and I'm being truthful about this. She and all that. She To me, she ain't nothing. You got to prove to me that you're something. Even when she was with WWE. She didn't prove anything. Uh, WWE, okay, I'll give credit where it's due, and we always make fun of Sasha on this show. We always have. Because we always joke that she always holds the belt like immediately after. By the way, CJ didn't realize that. So I'm talking about, we're talking about stuff. And I'm like, yeah, Mercedes is going to win the title. I'll probably lose it in her next events. Because <laughs> 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 we always joke about that with Sasha. And he's like, wait, what do you mean? So I had to explain it to him. So those who don't know, because it's been a long time since this is for the thing, when her and Charlotte were in that feud back, at, back when they first got called up, Right. Um, Charlotte would win the title, and then Sasha would beat her on Raw, and then Charlotte would beat her on pay per view. This happened three months in a row. <laughs> three months in a row. I'm yeah. of it every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but Sasha Mercedes, she just wants to be in the spotlight and steal everyone else's spotlight, and she doesn't have the ability to do what needs to be done. But at least here's the thing: now. when you when you take someone who's a budding star like Naomi with you, and you basically feed her all this bullshit in her head. Okay, and, okay. And, you I'll know, say something. I'll say something. I'm going to say something Go here. ahead. In defense of Naomi. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to talk shit about Naomi here, because to her credit, she didn't follow Sasha. Sasha, they left. But then Naomi went on her own. If you notice that, Trinity went on her own. She did her own right. thing. She went to TNA, revitalized right. her career, and then went back to WWE on her own. Right. right. So like I, I, it, she did leave Sasha right. behind. I well, I don't know what discussions they had, but whatever it was, it was bullshit enough to figuring that according to Sasha Mercedes, that she's worth more than what they're giving her, and she's not. She's no. so into herself that she can't she can't realize that, that she needs the ability to be a star which she does not have. And I'm sorry, she's using AEW as a stepping stone to get back to WWE to get more money and what's going to happen when she gets there? Same old, same old. She's going to steal everyone's spotlight or try to. She's going to be think she's bigger than what she is, that she has more potential, more talent, which she doesn't. I'm sorry. When it comes to Naomi, Naomi's got more talent in her little finger then basically Sasha has in her make believe boobs. First of all, Sasha doesn't have fake boobs. Sasha doesn't have fake boobs. She has small boobs. She has very small boobs. The obvious that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. They're not about. fake. They're not fake. That's my point. They're not Are fake. you sure? And she turns okay. to the okay. side. I'm going like to stop for one second because I got to write down a time code because there's no way that you're getting away with this conversation. I'm number one. <laughs> number two. Okay. If Mercedes, with her ego, yeah. Serious. We're being dead serious for a second. We yes. know she's got an ego. You know she's thinking she's hot shit. If she's going to have fake boobs, they'd be bigger than a fucking A cup. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, see, and, and here's the thing you would think she'd do that, but you know, she but doesn't need to. No, 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 Dad, she doesn't yeah. need to. My point is, but Robin, you're getting on this whole tangent, but I'm trying to explain to you. Okay. She doesn't need to because she has fanboys that love her. The way she did, and I'm not going to go on the whole big boob, real boob thing. I'm okay, not okay. Right now, because no because the fact is, I don't know if you're paying attention to this lately. You're probably not, because you're in your world and I'm in mine. A yeah. lot of people that have big boobs are trying to get them removed right now. I I understand that. I've been but they're causing that, that they're actually the people are realizing that they're poisonous. That's not a joke. All right. But like I'm, I hate I'm, I'm trying to like divert you from this whole thing because 
You don't want to accuse somebody of something they don't have, especially right now when a lot of people are trying okay. to get it. That's all I'm trying to do here. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I apologize for my misinformation, and I'm sorry, Sasha Mooney. Okay. <laughs> Sally, have any thoughts on any of this while we're ranting? No. <laughs> oh, work for me. Um, all right. Let's move on. We'll talk more about AW next week with Double or Nothing Preview. So we haven't talked about this on the show. It's been hard to really talk about on the show because there's really not much to discuss except for QR codes. But if it's becoming, as we're getting closer to the summer, this seems to be more real, like this is actually going to happen. <laughs> so we might actually want to discuss this now. Um, Uncle Howdy and the Wide Six and whatever the hell is going on with this. I know Sal on Monday, it was Friday, I think it was Friday, when I sent you a QR thing. You're like, that's a lot of work for a gimmick that's already dead. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like getting over it. It's like getting kind of old. Well, the funny part is, I'm to the point now, if a QR code pops up on the screen, I don't even bother to rewind anymore. I just wait two minutes, it pops up on Twitter, and I get it that way. <laughs> even mm-hmm. just wait two minutes. That's the truth. You know, why the time? Yeah. They're not as cryptic as they are anymore. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. You didn't see the last one. You didn't do the last one with 30, with 30 photos. That was insane. But um, with the date, which with the date now that makes sense to me, the date on those videos was today's date. We're recording this on Thursday, the 16th of May. The reason mm-hmm. they put that date up is because they took over WWE's Twitch stream today. Wait, they took over what? WWE's Twitch stream today, because usually WWE does the Twitch uh, stream while the bump is going on. All right. While the bump is going on on Thursday, the Uncle Howdy thing took over the Twitch stream. And did his whole like takeover thing. And on Raw Monday night, I put the picture in our run sheet. Apparently, Uncle Howdy was shown in the in the audience on a spotlight during Drew McIntyre's entrance. Ah. So I think we're getting closer to an actual reveal. <laughs> we were finally getting closer to this at this point. Um would, yeah. would you co- comment it as an invasion or a takeover? I don't think it's either. I think it's going to be almost with a tribute act at this point. I think it's okay. going to be a big giant flop. Okay, tell me that. Why do you how do you say that? Why do you say that? Explain. Because they're 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 trying to. Okay, I don't want to say replace, but they're. I'm going to use that word. They're trying to replace the whole fiend thing the fire with fire this fire. Uncle Howdy thing, and I just I I just. I, it's not going to work. I'm sorry. I I I don't feel like it's going to work for like three months, and then I think people are going to lose interest real quick, and it's just going to be a big massive flop. That's just my opinion. You know what's weird is it almost feels like the QR code thing was great the first time. We did. Right. Oh, I was all we over that shit. We all were. We all were. We all were. Yeah. And like, and now we're just like, all right, whatever. Like to their credit, they found a way for people that were. Only half paying attention to the shows sometimes to start doing puzzles in the middle of shows. Like, <laughs> what's going on the first time? And there, totally there, are people, there are people that actually have to rewind it, like you look at it. Sal did it every time. Sal did it every yeah. time. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. I was our Sal was our QR code person the first time. He would rewind it every time, for, do the screenshot, and then send it to us every time. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, but like this time around, it was fun. It's fun to do. But I just, it's not Bray. And we know it's not Bray. Even though it was no. weird, because the last, like, the last QR card felt like it was like we were watching fucking, um, or the last thing was like, QR, like Bray Wyatt sending his messages from the dead. That was weird. <laughs> the last one, <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> like, they're, they're, they're trying to revive the magic of Bray Wyatt. And, the and, right. <laughs> and the thing is, is you can't revive magic of Bray Wyatt because Bray Wyatt had something special. Plus, it was Bray's him. thing. It was his thing. Like right. he made that work because he believed in it. That's why it worked. And <laughs> and I I understand it's if you want to revive like the family and expand on that, that's great. And I think once you introduce the members of the family and they get into feuds, I think people will pay more attention to it. I hope so. I hope it's something. I hope it doesn't bomb. I hope it's nothing like I, I hope this is not like Triple H's first real big bomb. My my thing oh, is, you know, because it's been so good and it hasn't been perfect. 
And I hope this is not his first big bomb. I, I um, don't want this to be a bomb for Bull Dallas hmm. or uh oh, no, 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 howdy. You're right, you're fine. You know, I, I, I don't want this to basically kind of be one of those things where, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I done it. And because he has such high expectations of his brother, they wants to basically do this to honor him. And I just don't want this to, to blow up in his face and come back at him saying, see, we told you you shouldn't do this, but you forced, it, forced us to, to play our hand. And we did it anyways, and it didn't work. Well, there you go. We'll find out more as we get closer. So we're going to jump over and leave the wrestling world. Like I said, more wrestling in the next few weeks. And I do have, we're going to play, we're going to play a game in a little while. We'll have a little wrestling talk time. But for the moment, let's we'll do this. And now, let's see what's going on in the wild world of sports. By the way, for those I'm wondering, as the um, Carolina New York game is going on right now, it is three one Carolina after two. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, so it, the Rangers are gonna blow this lead, aren't they? They're gonna blow the three zero lead, aren't they? At this point, <laughs> I, hope they, I hope they blow the whole fucking series. It's funny to me. It's funny to me if they don't win this game tonight. Yeah. Who's me talking as someone who's playing the game with you? Doing the game with you. If they don't win tonight, and I don't get my points, lose game seven and get the fuck out of here. Let's just say that right now. How many points? How many points is this game worth? For, uh, for me, fifteen points. Yeah. Definitely need in this game. I Wait a minute. Did needing. you say? Did you say eight points? Fifteen points. Our game. Our 15. game. Is five, it's five points. Fifteen. For the way our game works in the second round, it is five points if you get the team. Fifteen. Ten points if you get the series right. So uh-huh. it would be a 15 point swing if the Rangers win this game for me. And I mean, me and Sal, the only way to pick the Rangers in our game, in this game, we're the only two. So it would possibly <laughs> change the, the standings if the Rangers win this game tonight. It would drastically change the standings. So, boy, this would raise you guys up pretty high, wouldn't it? Like, it's a big deal. Like, it's a very big deal tonight if they win this game. Okay. The game. So, anyway, okay. let's get over to the, the NFL. NFL, I'm never saying that. <laughs> the NFL. I'm never saying that on a microphone with the camera in front of me. I'm never saying that. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, NFL. The uh, NFL schedule came out this week, and I was just gonna throw it out there as a joke and just joke around about it. But what the fuck is up with the NFL this season? Like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> oh my are they, god. Are they? Are they the, thirty? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down the big stuff here, and then we'll talk about it at the end. So, NFL. First of all, is going to be on Netflix on Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. Like games? Two games on Christmas Day. The Kansas City Chiefs, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Baltimore Ravens, Houston Texans will be live on Netflix exclusively. On Netflix. On Netflix. Dead serious. <laughs> when the fuck did that happen? They just announced it when the schedule came out on Wednesday. Yep. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. And you know what's yes. crazy? This is their last big live thing before Raw goes there. Netflix. 100% dead serious. Yes. Dead serious. What? <laughs> this, this is insane. insane. I'm not joking. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I can hit you the graphic if you don't believe me. I'm 100% dead serious. <laughs> Does that mean you get NFL Red Zone too? No, Red Zone is on YouTube TV. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe there was something that oh, they were Red working on. Red Zone is on YouTube TV for like $179. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. I'm not doing that either. So hey, I'm I'm a little flabbergasted, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. You didn't know that. I love the fact you didn't I had no clue. <laughs> no clue. I love you. I literally no, that was not intentional. I did not know he didn't know that until just now. I had no clue. <laughs> I literally only looked at the Jets schedule. Okay. And, the, and the Giants, because my friend posted it, and I was kind of curious. And me. I didn't look at any of the schedule. And I said, of course, me. with Giants, obviously. You know what I mean? Like, his, right. his, that kind of stuff. So that's that, that Christmas. That's Christmas. This house is going to be fun on Thanksgiving. But the triple header for Thanksgiving this year. It is. Brazil? Well, I'll get to that. Oh, I'll, get I'll get there. Sorry. I'll get there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll get I'm there. Ahead. I'm ahead. 
Thanksgiving <laughs> games, the Thanksgiving games this year are the Bears versus the Lions. Which I'm not gonna lie, it's one of their better matchups they have on Thanksgiving for the Lions. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of their better matchups. <laughs> the Lions might actually Bears. the Lions might actually win this year. Um and then in this house, we have the Giants playing the Cowboys. <laughs> and then the Dolphins playing the Packers at Lambeau on Thanksgiving night. And what, what's this going to be on? Um, Paramount well, on, I believe that one's on NBC and Peacock. Yeah. Okay. On Peacock, NBC and Peacock, I believe. <laughs> if you go to NFL, hey. if you go to NFL, remember, they have individual graphics for every station they're on this year. <laughs> individual graphics. <laughs> hey, we get we get to have a turkey bowl this year. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited because we get back-to-back games. We get to see me all day. We're going to keep the TV all day, man, that day because we got games all day. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Just, uh, don't don't munch out too much in that turkey, otherwise you fall asleep. All right, I, I read something. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re- I read something. That I'm gonna read. It's nothing to do with sports. I'm gonna keep this on my screen so I don't forget. I have nothing to do with sports, but I, it's something I want to out of here. But I'll read it in a minute. Um, okay. Anyway, Dan brought up the international schedule. So here's the international schedule this year. <laughs> if you didn't get more ridiculous last year. When we had the um, London and Mexico games last year, which, by the way, one of these games better be the Toy Story game. By the way, I'm throwing that out there right now. One of these games better be the Toy Story game. I really enjoyed that last year. Um, <laughs> you would. I loved in it. In the soccer it was, stadium, no I, it I loved that game. That was great. To have it in the soccer so stadium. Is there any more to watch again this year? <laughs> so we'll have to do it again. I mean, that would be on Disney Plus if they do it. That would be on Disney Plus. So. <laughs> <laughs> I say this like I'm joking, but I'm not joking. <laughs> the last year's um the last year's the London um their choice for games on Disney Plus exclusively last year. So anyway, the international game. Opening weekend. Opening weekend. Obviously the um teams are playing on Thursday night. That's tradition. Super Bowl chance play on Thursday on the opening weekend. That's tradition, obviously. But Friday night, <laughs> the Packers. And the Eagles are going to Brazil <laughs> for a Friday night game at eight 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 uh, eight twenty eight. eight, eight seven fifteen p.m. our time, which is actually a really reasonable time for a start time for a game. I'm not gonna lie; it's actually a reasonable start time. Yeah, it's exclusively on Peacock. <laughs> Wait, this isn't preseason. No, this is a first regular season game. This is their first regular season game of the year. Yep. <laughs> Dead serious. What? <laughs> what? This is what I do about a while ago. The, the Packers yeah. called. Obviously, I do about this one a while ago. <laughs> uh, okay. And their opening game is going to be on a Friday night in Brazil. <laughs> okay. On Peacock, by the way, only on Peacock. Um, and it'll sorry, probably be it'll probably be in the soccer stadium. Yeah, I, I don't have the stadium here for this one, but yeah, it's going to be in Brazil. But then they're doing three games in London. <laughs> They're doing three games in London. So the Jets and the Vikings are playing in London. By the way, that counts as a Vikings home game. <laughs> okay, that's my birthday too. By the way, yeah, good call on your birthday. By the way, though, the um the Eagles Packers game counts as a, as a the um the the last team I wrote down it counts as the home team. So the Eagles lose the home game when they go to Brazil. <laughs> well, there you okay. go. Um, the Jaguars, who apparently this. The second city is London. Apparently, they always go to London. I don't know how this deal happened, but they're always in London. Um, the Jaguars are playing the Bears the week after. The power of all in. And then the week after, these two games are in a different stadium. The week after, Patriots Jaguars happening at Wembley. Those are two weeks whoa, 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 in a row. Whoa, 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 whoa! What team? What? The Jaguars are there back to back weeks. The Jaguars apparently have a contract when they sucked. They signed a contract when they really, really sucked before they became good. That said yeah. that they would be able to agree to go to London every year. So they're like yeah. London's home team. So they're like London's home team. I heard this last year. I heard about this last year. Yeah. So they're practically like London's home team. <laughs> okay. At, at Wembley. So the second game, Patriots Jaguar is going to be at Wembley. Oh, God. Oh, not both of them. No, first game is at some other stadium. The second one's at Wembley. But still insane. I don't care. You're going to get an NFL game at Wembley. But the Patriots, the Patriots suck now. Why would they Because they probably that them. one in Wembley Stadium? I don't know why. I, figured, I don't know why. But I'm curious how they, because this counts as a Jaguars home game, by the way. This one counts as a Jaguars home game. <laughs> they probably threw darts at a board. Um, And finally, <laughs> the game that's going to be, both of those three games on NFL Network, 
which we do have on YouTube TV. If you have YouTube TV, you do have NFL Network. Um, okay. Don't have Red Zone, but we have right NFL Network. Go figure. Um, <laughs> and then the, the Giants are playing the Panthers. Um, where's that game? Oh, no. it's um, What the hell happened here? What did I do here? This is a... I'm sorry. I copied and pasted. Let me be fast and get the actual city on my phone here. Yeah. Uh, I made a mistake. That's my fault. Location. I was typing really fast. That's my fault. That was me. <laughs> that okay. was, I'll fuck myself for that because I was typing really fast because I was doing... Oh, they're going to be in Germany. Oh, man. That game's going to be in Germany on NFL Network on November 10th. So a lot of international games. Now, finally, we're talking about the Giants. This is their 100th season this year. That's awesome. That's fantastic. That's crazy, too, if you think about that. absolutely incredible. It's their 100th season, and they're doing a big thing on their Instagram page right now, talking about they're trying to narrow it down to the biggest play in Giants history, which is the helmet catch. We all know that. But, um... We all don't tell me catch, but so I wanted the second play, best team, best play in the history of the team, in the history of the um, Giants, it's because obviously the Browns are the helmet catch, and um, well, they have the jerseys. The, the jerseys got rebuilt today. And Sal, you were like the fifth person that sent me this picture because everyone's like, "What's well, my opinion on these jerseys?" <laughs> so, all right, let's do the let's Sal, Sal, Giants. Sal, Sal, you're best. You're the best at describing um, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Why don't you tell everyone what these jerseys look like? Okay, so I, I jokingly said that they're the Montreal Giants, and it's because, do you remember that one jersey that the Canadians had that looked pretty much exactly like this? It is red with the blue in the center, um, obviously outlined by white lines, and it had that um, that Canadians logo in the blue which obviously here it's just the number because it's football. Um, and then on the shoulders going down the sleeve is a blue stripe. But what the fuck is with those helmets? I know, those always are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, so apparently these are the... And then they're wearing like tan pants. Like what the oh. hell did tan pants come from? So apparently these are the exact uniforms they wore in 1933. What? That's not 100 years ago, though. Yeah, apparently <laughs> these are the jerseys they wore in 1933. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hold on, I'm looking at. take my background off so you can see the picture I have on my phone. Okay. Um, take my background off for a second here. I, I, I apologize for the sun glare, but um, let me take my background off for one second because I do have a picture that I got here. Oh, dim the light, dim the light. But the, on the top is the 1933 jerseys, and then at the bottom is the ones we just wore. So they're the exact same jerseys. And as I joked to a friend of mine, the problem with this logic is, yeah, fine, they're trying to do something. But who at home that didn't go to the polo ground? Because they're not even Yankee Stadium yet. This is not the polo ground at this point. If you were at the polo grounds, did you even know how ugly these jerseys were in the 30s? Honestly, mm. you really know how ugly they were. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm right here. Like, really? I'm sorry. Those jerseys aren't, they don't look like football. They look more like soccer jerseys. So unless they're going to play soccer, then that's great. Oh, I, but but I, I don't think I said so. football like football. I like that, by the way. I don't know that you should say. I don't know you did it on purpose, but you said football. <laughs> you said football, football, yeah, football, yeah. That made me chuckle. I was just letting you finish your second favorite chuckle. I, I, I am, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I have to say those uniforms are butt ugly. They're terrible. They're absolutely <laughs> terrible. People have been asking for my opinion all day. People have been asking for my opinion all day on this. <laughs> And Tommy DeVito's going to be warm one? Wait a minute. This is the current um, Canadian's jersey, not the old one. <laughs> Should it be? It makes it even worse. It is literally the same as the Canadian's jersey. Oh, my God. It makes it even worse. That's funny. Wait a minute. Are these stealing? Holy hold God. Funny. Hold on. Hold, hold on. That is funny. Okay, let, me, let me find the one really good picture. That's his. Okay. Let me... Let me I got it. I got it. Hold, 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 hold up. I'm going to do something too. I'm going to. Oh, shit, I lost what I was looking at. Maybe we'll the picture here. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to bring the bring the logo up here on my screen. I'm going to take my background off. I, 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 oh, I, there I, it is. Yeah, I'm going to take my background off too. Holy crap. No. I turn my background off. Wait, wrong one. Can, I, I can see Tommy DeVito wearing one of those. He crosses the end zone. And it's gonna, he's going to be saying, Go! Right, um, let's compare. Here we go. Here we go. What the hell? 
Oh my god, that is hysterical! What the hell? Oh man! And it's the Montreal Giants, I'm telling you. That is incredible. And fuck them kids. That was absolutely incredible. Back to the Admirals. So they're in the I, I, no, so they're, 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 they're no, in the semifinals. No, okay, yeah. no, no, oh, no, that was no. that is hysterical. Oh my lord, that is great. Do, I feel better than I expected. No, <laughs> when they wear this, do they realize they're going to be the laughing stock of the league? No, because the Jets or have don't their they jerseys. care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you, you that one. Stock of their own stadium. <laughs> On that one. Oh my God. <laughs> So oh, okay, before we get to, I have a game I want to. I, I actually, I, I knew we were going to be done a little early today. I put together a little game for us. So before we get to that, um, okay. I opened up my Instagram page actually to get the graphic to talk about the Giants. And the first thing that came up on my screen is um, Pope, uh, uh, the Pope on my screen. So this is actually more for you. I'm not sure you, you heard this one. The Pope clarifies blessing same sex unions that cannot be undone. He's confirming that he's he's blessing same sex unions. The Pope. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that 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 he he wants more same sex couples to get married by the Catholic religion. So I just wanted you to know that. That's a big someone, someone asked, you know, that's not going to work. I'm not saying it's going to work. I just like the fact that the Pope said it. I like the fact that the Pope actually took it went out of his way to say that. Like I always appreciate. And it. And then don't be surprised if he's found dead in the morning. It's like the fifth oh. time he said that. If he didn't get killed the first time, I'm not worried about it this time. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so back, the next there's question. gonna be no context. Uh, there's gonna be no context. That's gonna be the graphic for this show. I was holding up the jerseys with no context whatsoever. <laughs> 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 anyway, back we're to all you. going to hell. I hope you understand that. Oh, you thought that was too funny. I'm already there. I'm uh, there anyway. Right. It, 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 look at the flag we have outside. I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> so, if you, uh, if you ask him, CJ's best friend's parents are already there. Um, yeah. True. Anywho. So last, so we, so our anniversary show, we did um the first ever Mac, the Lincoln South Show, Lincoln South Show American Mac is a good game. And um, what you guys didn't know was I put all the video up on TikTok. I edited it down because I because they, they allowed, at the time they allowed ten minute clips, so I edited down the ten minutes to put three games up that we did. Because when we did okay. the game, it, like, it took like an hour to do all three boards. <laughs> we did it the first time. Yeah. But, um, so I only made so. The first board went up, and that first board was hilarious because you guys were getting so many answers wrong. <laughs> it was actually pretty damn funny. <laughs> but you're, you're still in the state of the costume of the game, and like you, you kept like saying wrong answers. And somebody actually commented that, bro, they don't know shit with like a laughing emoji, <laughs> which made me laugh. Really no, that's funny. a sad crying emoji. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, yeah, but it's still funny. It was still very funny. So I figured I'll let you guys redeem yourself today. Uh oh, you made just one board. One board, a lot less answers. <laughs> a lot less answers. Uh-huh. First time a brain, a one board little immaculate grid. The and what's the topic here? The factions edition. What? The factions edition. And is wait, um, is it supposed to be gigantic? I zoomed. I put it up on the screen. What do you? I literally just see a number two and a number three and a purple and. Hang on, let me see here. Let me see if I can fix this. I I, I see the whole board on mine, but let me stop yes. the share. share. But on my screen, it does say that it's showing the whole board on the share screen. So let me try it again. Okay. On my screen, it does say it's showing the whole board. So let's try it again. How about now? I see it. Yes. No. Really, so? No, let me show you what I say. Well, I know. Let me I, show you what I say. Yep, I have a backup plan. So hang on, let me try this screen. Let me try this screen. Do you see that screen? Yeah. I mean, I could see a little bit more, but this is all I see. I'm sending it to you right now. That's weird. That you can't see the screen. Turn your tablet in another direction. No, it's not that. It's like zoomed in like times 500. It shouldn't be. Huh. So it shouldn't be that because on like I said, this is the same sharing. You know what? Let me oh, no. maybe because I have it snapped. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe because like on my um, uh, the way I was sharing everything this whole show, so obviously we haven't any problems the whole show. You know. Hold on. Let me let me let me do sure. let me unsnap. Exit full screen. Wait, no, that didn't work. Um, hold on. From I went back um, to the other screen. We could edit around this when I put the video. So don't worry about. It. <laughs> 
Okay, so oh, here we go. I got it now. It's working now. Yeah, I had to like unsnap it, and then I had to. Go. All right. Okay. Yeah. I so got top it. of the top of the board is, is it the faction edition. That's right. There's not as many. Hey. It makes it easier. Not gonna lie, it makes it a little easier. Faction edition. <laughs> At the top of the board, it is Are the white. Sure about that? The white family. Which is yeah. original four members. I'm clarifying that. The original four. We're not talking about the team. We're not talking about Firefly Fun House. <laughs> talking about the original four. And we're, we're not talking oh, sorry. about Hold on. <laughs> What? Shield and, and WWE Championship. If we get that wrong, we oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, just read the whole board. Read the whole board. <laughs> Top of the screen. It is the Wired Family, <laughs> the Shield, and Evolution. On the left side of the board, <laughs> why this should not be difficult for you guys is the WWE or Universal Championship. <laughs> oh, World Championship, actually. Well, any WWE World Heavyweight or Universal Championship. Any of them. <laughs> okay. And there's three possible answers, correct? Yes. Exactly my point. It okay. should be difficult. The first row should okay. not be difficult for anybody. <laughs> one A title <laughs> at WrestleMania. One A title at WrestleMania. And my favorite one, because I just wanted to put this down. Had a match with The Rock at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> had a match with The Rock, okay. Had a match with The Rock at WrestleMania. And yes, there is a wire family member that had a match with The Rock at WrestleMania. This happened, and it is in the record book. It did happen. <laughs> um, okay. Who won the last game? I'm going to let Sal go first. <laughs> but by all means. <laughs> Sal, you're the, the shield. <laughs> the shield winning the championship. Who? Give me one out of three. This <laughs> is really difficult. Oh, this is so hard. It's like, it's like, it's like because, Mike, bro, I don't know shit. It's like Mike. Mc, I'm going to say. <laughs> say. Dean Ambrose? Yes, Dean Ambrose. What a WWE. Oh, yeah. He was the only WWE champion. He the, that was the night. And it's the funny part about this question. I love this question. I put this on here because I have to tell this story. That is the night that all three members of the Shield held the WWE Championship in the same night. That's right. Because the Seth Rollins entered the, entered the night with champion. Roman Reigns beat him. And then Gene Ambrose got the money in the bank all the same night. All on the same night. <laughs> so that point goes to Sal. Starts the board off right. The easiest, probably one of the easiest questions you'll ever have in this game. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, it's funny, but it's, the next row is also just as easy. We'll see how this goes. Bad to you. I'm going to go with the championship belt and evolution. Evolution. This is also extremely easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, four possible answers? There's Correct. Four members of evolution. I know. <laughs> And there was one, two, three, four members, right? Yes. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's so hard. I love so much calorie. I love you so much right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Randy Orton. Yes, Mr. <laughs> RKO himself. <laughs> and the funny part is, I threw it out. Of it. I thought that would be a lot to just say Ric Flair just for fun. <laughs> which, which is very funny to me. Oh yes, of course. That goes to Dad. I'll give him that one. Um, but by the way, for those I'm not watching the board, I will put the TikTok and on YouTube. But the um on the board, blue will be Sal and red will be Dad because I don't feel like changing the colors again. So there you go. Just <laughs> <laughs> so the TikTok board format of this game. Um, Sal, to you, where are you heading? Um, I'm gonna do. Shield won title at WrestleMania. And here's funny. Oh, one, one, of these, one of these three. One of these three actually won a title three different times. Won a title three different times at WrestleMania. Oh, so hard. Oh, um, you can't say Dean Ambrose twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> so there's only two. Oh god, three. this is. By the way, be careful this... with the answer because there was only one pop plans on the other Shield question. Right. And I noted it. I said against The Rock. Against The Rock. Right. Right. Oh, shit. First person. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Dad's going to block me anyway. Exactly. Oh, this is so hard. I'm going to say Roman Reigns. Yes, indeed. The tribal chief. By the way, you really think there's yes. only won one title at WrestleMania? 
He's only really? actually won one title. Well, because he's been champion for four I know. years. He defended, and like he lost to like Rock Lesnar in a title match one time. Wrong color. Had, Wrong color. He had, like, Wrong, non- color. Non- Wrong color. I'm going to change it in a second. I'm going to change it in a second. Oh. But, um, <laughs> and, um, I, and the funny part, I found him and he sacked at me, and it went over to the other side of the board. But, uh, um, <laughs> funny part is, they, he, won, he won it at WrestleMania, um, WrestleMania 33 against, uh, against, I, that's interesting, against Brock Lesnar. But, um, the other one, Seth Rollins, he won the WWE Championship at 31, the IC Championship at 34, and the Universal at 35. Oh. Huh. Ambrose won in the IC at 33. I didn't even realize he won at 33. I didn't right. even realize that. I forgot. I forgot it happened on the pre show. I completely forgot it happened. I completely forgot that happened. So, Dad, <laughs> if you don't take the block here, I'm going to judge you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I will take the block. Oh, man. <laughs> so that would be me. That would be uh, I went against the Rock at WrestleMania and a Shield member. Okay. There's only one possible play. The person you can put here, <laughs> based on uh, the rules of this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of this game. Uh, I'm gonna say Roman Reigns. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you joking? Yes. Okay, please tell me you're Bro. joking. <laughs> That's Bro. Bro. I emphasize against The Rock because obviously this year's main event night one was the tribal chief and the final boss hacking together against Cody and Seth. So that is the difference. That's why I made sure I clarified that. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Show members run out of the way. Sal, back to you. <laughs> um, Evolution won a title at WrestleMania. There are two. And I, ver- um, I, I verified this because I wanted to make sure the two others did not, and they did not. I, actually, no, actually, wait, wait, time out. I am incorrect on this. There are three, but one already been set. I just remembered. I, I blocked that match out of my mind. That's why I forgot it happened. I blocked that match out of my mind. <laughs> I'll explain why in a second. I blocked that match out of my mind. I just realized I didn't write it down, but I blocked that match out. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, there are two obvious answers, though. So. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Triple H has won a title at WrestleMania. Yes, he did. He beat Chris Jericho in okay. the 18. Okay, good. <laughs> Although the match I was gonna, I forgot to write down that I kind of um isolated from my brain was the Bray Wyatt Randy Orton match at WrestleMania with the Bugs. Oh yeah, where, where, where Orton did beat Bray for the title. But I, I didn't write it down because I, I just I tried to pretend that match didn't happen. <laughs> Are you talking about the cinematic uh, match? No, no, I'm talking about the one where they were in the ring and then they, and then bugs get projected on the ring. I got it. Remember the match that CJ we were watching with CJ and he literally ran out of the room when it was happening because he got so terrified of the bugs. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, um, sit down. Hmm. I'll go with Rock and Evolution. Now, this is an interesting one. This is a very interesting question because I, I went through the books to make sure I was correct on this one. And this is a very interesting one. So go ahead. Um, Give me a line. Triple H and Norton have already been set. I go Ric Flair. You're absolutely right. And here is the tricky part of this question. It was all in the same match. The Rocket Sock Connection against Evolution at WrestleMania 20. Oh. It was Rock and Mick Foley versus Batista, Randy Orton, and Ric Flair. It was the only <laughs> time Flair and Rock were in the same ring at WrestleMania. Interesting. I actually I, I actually had to double check with Triple H and Triple H and Triple H outside of um, that one segment with Ronda Rousey at that one WrestleMania when Ronda Rousey was debuted. That was the only time Triple H and Rock ever did anything at WrestleMania together. Okay. I did not know that. I literally did the research. I was like, I'm sure Triple H and Rock had a match. And they did not. So that really surprised me. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you so, know, uh, Sal can go for the win here. He can go for the win here. I, I am going for the win. Okay. You're going for the win. Okay. Why don't you tell everyone what you're going for here? Uh, Wyatt Family and won a title at WrestleMania. Yes, there are three. Out of the four members of the Wyatt family that won a title at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And I verified this to make sure that one of them did not. I had to verify it myself because I wasn't right. sure. <laughs> um, what are you going to say? Braun Strowman. 
I am so glad you said that because of that is the the tag team is Nicholas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but actually he's won two times because he also beat um Goldberg at the pandemic WrestleMania and plays the Roman Reigns. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yes, I actually I, 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 obviously I had Nicholas as the answer when I wrote the question down. I'm like, wait, didn't he win a world title? <laughs> didn't he win a world title? Yeah, it was at the, it was it was in replacement of Roman Reigns, but he took the time off during the pandemic. And that was the um the replacement was Braun Strowman and he beat Goldberg for the title. So, well, okay. too. so by the way, well, we the other play. answers, the other answers here were the Bludgeon Brothers, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Yeah, they won the tag team titles at WrestleMania 34. That's right. Well, they weren't a Wyatt family, but they're still counted because that counts for this question. <laughs> it counts for this question. So, Sal wins the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. So, the other Thank categories, you. other categories, it was the Wyatt family. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, Wyatt family and the WWE or World or Universal Championship, Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. <laughs> and the the mat, the one that I really was hoping someone would get, but I guarantee no one remembered this happened. Um, the Rock had a match. It was six seconds, and it counted because it was Rock's match at WrestleMania 32 against Eric Rowan. Oh God! <laughs> and I only remember that because it was like, oh, that's that. So Sal wins this game. You're now one and one. We'll have to bring it back another time to see if um if you can break this tie. But there you go, guys. Congratulations. That was another game of our Immaculate Grid. Well, fun. I did that on purpose. I was trying to give easy answers. I had Andrew sheet right in front of me, actually, the whole time. We, uh, we, <laughs> did, we did better on this board, though. You know, it is your board on purpose. I want to have some you guys, but I didn't want to, like, torture you guys either. I don't want to torture you <laughs> either. So that's where we'll end up here. A nice, nice clean show today. I had a nice good show today. A good shot. I had fun today. We'll get out of here a little earlier today than normal because it's going to be. A, I guarantee next week's show is going to be way longer. And South Island ain't going to be here. <laughs> I guarantee that. So I'm going to hit this. And we're going to close with a sequel song I never thought I'd be really looking forward to and I really enjoy. This is Cameron Cowell doing a sequel song to Mark Will's 19 something. And this is called 2000 something. Oh. Okay. It's a really good song, too. It's a really, really good song. It takes, it picks up where Mark Wills ended and gets all the way to now. It's a really good song. Oh. So we'll end the show with that. I've actually been holding this one for a while. So okay, that'll take it away. Let's get out of here. There are more information on our show, including where you can find us on social media or watch the show on YouTube or TikTok. Uh, go to the and as I burp, please, please, please don't forget comment or leave a rating and review and we will read it on the show. There you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Style burped. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I the wrong one. Oops. There it is. I the wrong one. Would you rather have him burp or fart? Oops. <laughs> 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 Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's your thing. No, that we're in moods again. Go ahead. There you go. Hey, if you happen to have a local independent wrestling organization, Oops. a wrestling organization where you live Uh-oh. at, <laughs> please patronize these people. These are the young men and women coming up in the world of professional wrestling. They want to show you what they can do as far as their moves, their promos, their lashy, flashy. Entrances Uh-oh. and the whole enchilada to get to that brass ring. Enchiladas. Organization. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you go to these matches, please do so. Be responsible. Be kind. A little kindness goes a long way. And we only got one world, and this is it. So let's all be kind to be each other to have a better world, shall we? And kids. Kids. <laughs> Way too much fun with your actors lately. You really are Way too much fun. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So next week, Sal taking a week off because we got to do an afternoon show. So Sal taking a week off next week. Um, but we will be joined by the one and only John Parker. Yay! And and if we're going to replace anyone with Sal, it will be John. Um, <laughs> never another show. Later like, all, Sal will be John. <laughs> it's gonna be a show. It's gonna be a show in two weeks where I'm the only one here, and I have a guest host of that week. So, <laughs> show in two weeks. Um. But next week, John will be here. 
to help me and dad um, preview AEW Dynamite. Hey, they already announced six matches, and it's not even the week before the show yet. Go figure. Good for them. Wait. Good for them. Wow. <laughs> and we'll also um we'll also pick who's gonna be the winner of the king, the queen, and the king of the ring. We're not gonna preview the whole show. I just want to pick who's gonna win the win the win the crowns. <laughs> We're not gonna have to preview the show because as we've learned from the last time of PLE WWE, it's not worth previewing the show. It really isn't worth it. Okay. It's worth watching. It's I, not worth before, previewing. Before we, I, I have one little question. Are you guys enthused with the King and the Queen tournament this I year am. or not? I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot more fun this Saturday because Saturday doesn't watch SmackDown. So I'm having a lot more fun with it because SmackDown, the SmackDown side has been more entertaining on the Raw side. It really there has been go. a lot better on the, on the SmackDown side. As <laughs> usual. So, Oops. So anyway, let's get out of here. Um, that being said, I'm Blake. I'm Oops. <laughs> I'm Mark. We love you guys. Oops. Hey, and please let it all be. Uh oh, Mark is going off on a tangent. And you've been listening to the Blake and Sasha with Mark. Have a good day, everybody. See ya. Bye. Looking back now, I could say, man, oh man, did I look cheesy. But I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. Oh, it was 2000 or something. 2000 or something. Thank you so very much. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Bye-bye, bitch. <laughs> Fuck them Fuck kids. Fuck Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Fuck Cody Rhodes. <laughs>